Checking, testing, okie dokie. Looks like we have sound. Hopefully we do. Dr. D. Good morning. Hey, Pecola. Trying to get my window set here with all the things I have open. Okay. Looks good. All right. See where we go from here. <laughs> I think my camera needs a little bit of adjusting. Don't quite have it in the right place. Yeah, there we go. That was too far. Okay. All right, that looks good. Now, yeah. <laughs> waving. Bible fingers. <laughs> okay, so I've got to get this out of the way because I can't see. Now I don't know if there's my water. Let's put it over there. Okay, I have this little camera, the other camera set up here. So we're going to try two cameras today. See how that works out. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue what I was doing here. Uh, this rainbow loom thing has really sent me down a rabbit hole of gigantic proportion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, going this way. I don't know how talkative I'm going to be today. <clears throat> My throat's a little scratchy, so we'll have to see how that goes. Right now, I am making a fishtail design bracelet. Well, I don't know if it's going to be a bracelet. It might turn out to be something else. On what is known as a finger loom. Hey, cat. So I'm going to do this while we're waiting for people to find me. And a fishtail is a pretty standard uh, rainbow loop um, design. I've got my rainbow colors laid out so that while I'm working, I can uh, not make a mistake. I hope. <laughs> we'll hope for the best. <laughs> and see how it works out. So I've got 14 colors in this rainbow, so I keep starting on the wrong side. I have to pay attention. But it's really easy. This you don't even need a hook for. It's a finger loom. I didn't even know about these things. We bought the rainbow looms for the grand girls when they came out. Hey, Lynn. Um... We bought them for the 2014 Christmas, so everybody had one, and uh, I never did much with it. Um, it was fairly new, and you know things didn't didn't uh, interest me that much. Um, so I really didn't do a lot with it, and so. Okay, this time I'm going to lay these out going the other direction. I don't know why I set the box up that way, but I set out the whole row because I was making mistakes. <laughs> so it goes like this. <laughs> but I kept making mistakes and I thought, okay, I need to do something about that. So I'm just laying them out. Following uh, 
colors and I got to do this every time or I'm going to get messed up in my rainbow. So, yeah. So this one is a fishtail. This one here is a fishtail. And it's using two, three, four colors. And this one is an inverted fishtail, which is done differently. I have to have a hook for that one. Um, this one is called a French braid. This one here is two colors. See that? It's like I do my hair. Um, this one is another fishtail. It's got um, three colors. Yeah, three colors, I think. Then this one here. And then this one is done with the hook. So this is like crochet with rainbow loops. Um, yeah, it's uh, uh, intriguing. Very intriguing. This pattern is called Lion's Cage. I don't know why. It just is. Um, this was my practice one, so there's a lot of errors in this one. I, I went back and fixed some of them, but some of them I didn't. Hey, Dorothy. Oh, I said hi. <laughs> I said hi to Dorothy already. Hey, CB. Hey, Lynn. I don't know if I said who I said hi to. So if I say hi to you twice, that's okay. All right. And so this one here is still in progress. Um, this one is called Cotillion. Isn't that pretty? And these guys are done with the double-ended hook. I hunted and scoured the internet for these for three days before I figured out what they were using <laughs> because you can't find one of these small enough this is like a 2.25 millimeter or two millimeter something like that hook and I couldn't figure out what the heck they were using and so finally um, I hit upon somebody's um, web page and Lo and behold, it's this thing. Luma Loom. I had never seen this. It never popped up in any of my searches. I was like, what the heck? But here's the hook. And these are grips and they slide right off. And then you have your double-ended hook. And let me tell you, this makes a world of difference when you're doing these bracelets. Because all the loops... Are doing they're you know trying to do their own twisty thing and you're trying to keep them in line so right now I've got this one on a stitch holder while I'm not working on it but let me see if I can get up here so you can see so you see all the bands cross and everything yeah it's pretty cool this is fascinating this has my interest more than anything else with this now this is fun it's, it's a lot of fun so what I've done oh, excuse me throat. <coughs> I had to take a little drink of water. I knew that might happen. Bad allergies. Very bad. It's including blowing the nose and all that today too, so I'm sorry. So anyway, um, let me see. Well, I was playing with this last night. And like I said, this is called Lion's Cage. And it's, it's really fascinating. Oh, here, where's the camera? There it is. So what I ended up with, I, I didn't like any of my colors. I was just grabbing some and playing, and, but I ended up liking the gold, black, and white. Oh, focusing. Hello. It's focusing on the behind. Oh, well. Anyway, you get the idea there. Um, <clears throat> so I've also made, uh, just playing around with different um techniques and stitches and stuff so this is this is like a headband um or it can be a wrap bracelet or if you if you want to you can wear it as a choker doesn't really matter um but i made this one first so regular fishtail inverted fishtail and playing with colors I'm just playing with colors i like the inverted fishtail because it's flat if i turn it so you can see the difference maybe if the camera will focus i don't know but yeah, you can see it. Okay. Not totally in focus, but that's all right. And then I've made a ton of other things. So here's here's another one with the hook. This is a hook only. This one. It's not focusing because it fo it's focusing on all the things in the back. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 
And I showed y'all this one that I made. The first that was my first bracelet. I had to do complicated. And then there's a whole bunch more that I've done. This is a, a fishtail, um, a quad fishtail. So there's four. You use four pegs instead of two. Um, and then alternate black and white. And yes, I learned on this. Yes, the sequence you do it does make a difference. Um, here's uh, another fishtail with two colors and a stripe. It's another hook only. It's the same pattern as, as the lavender one. But it's different bands, a different company of bands. And it's it's a little a little thinner. I don't know why that is, but you know, this is just playing around. I can't remember the name of the pattern, but I was just playing with colors and the, trying to learn the pattern on that one. So there's a lot of samplers here going on. So, But it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy the hook part of it the most. Um, it's intriguing. It's complicated. It's um, more fun <laughs> for me. So if you want simple, don't try this. <laughs> if you like complicated, that's the way to go. It's a lot of fun. So I'm not going to be showing you how to do that because uh, I haven't learned well enough um, to be showing you how to do it. So, you know, it's like, no, I'm not going to do that. What I do want to do is um, show you my diamond paintings um, that I've gotten framed. Um, so let, let me show you this. This is this is a magic trick. OK, this is kind of a magic trick. Let me see if I can get the background to focus. Hold on a second. Clear that off. All right. Get you get the background to focus on it. So I'm not going to try to zoom in because I don't think that's going to work. OK, you see what it's looking like right now. And no way does that look like this, right? Okay, here's the magic trick. Now, watch closely. Pay attention. I'll try and keep it in camera and keep it focused, I hope. Ready? Magic. Ta-da! <laughs> now it looks like that. <laughs> the first time I did that, I'm like, whoa, do it again. But I couldn't, of course, because I had already done it. <laughs> Well, of course, I'm getting my hair in it. I get my hair in everything. I crochet my hair. I knit my hair. You know, that's just one of the things that happens. Anyway, this is a finger loom, so that's a that's a cool thing to play with. And I bought a party pack of those, so I can um, give them out because it they work. It works out to um, a what less than a dollar each. That was pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside. We're not going to actually do any more rainbow lemming. I was just getting that as a setup. Okay, I'm going to show you a painting that's finished. All right, I finished this one. This is one of three that goes to my mom. Hopefully, it will hang over her fireplace. We're, we'll see. It's a big white nothing up there. <laughs> so, it's needed something up there. So, I decided we were going to do this. So, this is, and I don't know what this one is called. Um, I can't remember the name of it or anything, but I just, the little bench is back in the park in the pond over here and reflections. And so this is number four. I have four finished. Now I've got some frames. So let me get those up here. Okay. Here's the one for my uncle. Okay. See, uh, I can hold it like this. Okay, so here's the deer. I framed it yesterday. I went to Michael's yesterday, guys. <laughs> I had fun in Michael's till I got tired. I said, okay, time to go. <laughs> but I did have fun. So, but yeah, this one. It This was the gift that the quality of the, the beads weren't very good. However, it looks okay framed. I mean, it's going to be up on the wall. Nobody's going to be, you know, putting their eyes up to it and going, oh, there's a square that's not the same size as the next one. You know, <laughs> I know it, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, I keep thinking they're elk, but they're deer. Okay, people, deer. <laughs> Even if there are four bucks together, you know. Yeah, it's cool. He'll like it. He doesn't care. You know, he's a hunter. And he's, he's getting a new place. And so this is a housewarming. 
So, okay, so there's that one. I'm going to move it because it's um, framed and I don't want to break the glass. So I'm going to get this one. So this is the first one I framed. And this is my owl. I know I can't get her all in here. But Michael's had a frame sale. And this frame just practically leaped into my cart. It said, owl, perfect. One of these colors, you know, matches the background and some of the colors in the owl herself. So... Yeah, whoops, <laughs> too big. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, this frame is just perfect. Perfect, perfect. And it's it's a little dark in here, and it's just perfect. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I have to I have to have a, an owl wall because I have <laughs> I have um Oh, well, I might as well show you the other one while I got it out here. Let's see. Oh, of course, knock something over. Pick up one thing and something else falls. So I have to have an owl wall because here's my color pencil owl. This is my first use of, of um, <laughs> Barbara Castell Polychromos pencils. Didn't like them. This took forever. It would have taken me less than half the time if I didn't in Prismacolor. But I was in a class, and so, you know, you do what you got to do. And, of course, I finished it when I got home. But now I need a wall for my owls because Dee Dee sent me one that she drew. So, and I have, of course, all my owl ornaments, my little fuzzy owl ornaments. And I have uh, jackets and shirts and tote bags with owls. I need a whole wall to display all my owl stuff. <laughs> I love owls. Owls are so cute. Um, let's see. Yeah. So, um, okay. So that's that's what I've got here. Now, the the one I'm working on now. Let me bring it out. See if I can set this down on the chair. Okay. I'm gonna have to blow my nose again. All right. So this is the one. This is a 16 by 20, so no way you're going to see it all. Um, so I'm not quite halfway there. Okay, put all this back so you can see. So this is the sewing machine. This is a Hua Can canvas. Now, I must say... Hua Can canvases are really easy to see. I have not had to use the light pad once on this. I can see it is so clear. It is really, really clear. And I've got this, this canvas on a uh, 18 by 24 uh, drawing board um, that hangs around in here for just such purposes. Um, it's, matter of fact, it's even still covered in plastic. Because I've, I've been painting on it and all, all kinds of things. But anyway, this is this is what I've been working on for the last... I think I've been working on it five days. Uh, let's see, when did I start it? Um, I started the 23rd, so it's been more than five days. Let's see. Um, let's see the calendar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. Okay. So it's going to take me a couple weeks to get this one done. It's just big. <laughs> it's just big. But I wanted to, I like to start left to right. And that's just, you know, that's just what I do. I just I like to start left to right. So what I did was I'm working this way, but I'm working from here. I'm standing over here and working this way. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just easier for me to do it that way. I, I don't know. And I change, sometimes I stand over here, sometimes I stand over there. Um, it, you know, it's it's up on the counter, and it just takes up the whole half of the counter since it's so big. But I'm loving it, and look at it. It's just so pretty. Hey, there's a flower. I didn't even see that. I can see it on the camera now. I can see that flower. Oh, that's awesome. That is cool. I love that. Oh, my goodness. 
yeah, that is really, it's really cool looking at it from a distance because it looks so different. Oh, man. Yeah. And there's some other stuff on, there's the sewing machine, of course, and then there's some other stuff on that side. But like I said, I'm almost halfway. I've got an inch or so to be halfway. But the canvas, I mean, it is so clear. It is so easy to see. It's amazing. Even the, the black and, and blue area down here is really, really easy to see. Uh, yeah. So I was in Michael's yesterday, and I looked at the kits they have. Yuck. In a word, yuck. Um, they're pixelated. They're, they're very, very basic. Um, I didn't like any of the designs, even the kitty. I really didn't like any of the designs that I saw. So I was like, mm, no, won't be doing those. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to zoom in. I've got a second camera, and I want to zoom in and see if um, if this is going to work. Um, so let me see. Okay, so here's my camera. Let me go to Minicam and switch things around a bit. Let's see. Okay, so I've got to go back to the presets and find this camera. Okay, now there it is. Okay, uh, let's see. Zooming in on the area I'm going to be working. Now, I don't know if this is going to zoom in and not pixelate. I don't know what it's going to do, but I'll see if uh, I can get it close enough where y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, let me see that one. Let me look at the... Logitech software and see if that will okay I'm zooming in now let me go back and see if I can focus better no okay I'm sorry I gotta play with this because I've you know I've not done this before so I gotta see if this is gonna work so let me try zooming in with this camera software and that's not working. No, it's not working. Okay. Yeah, something is, okay. It doesn't work together at the moment. It might eventually, but right now it's not. So I have to figure it out. Um, I may have to load a second camera software in order to get it to focus better but we're gonna go with this okay now this is an area of mostly black and I'm gonna do the checkerboard technique okay let me see if I can move the camera over and down okay how about that it's sitting on the canvas now let's see that might work now let me know how that works Okay, if I can get on the canvas more. Okay, let's see. But I don't want to get in my way. <laughs> I still have to be able to see what I'm doing. So, and then, of course, I, I might be bumping this rascal, too. So, I don't know. Okay, so it might be a little fuzzy. Um, but we'll let's just try this. Let's see how this is going to work. Um, okay. Let's see if this works. Did I lose you guys? Somebody say something. Last thing I see was CB saying she's changing rooms. Back in a few. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this down. I would normally cut those off, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to work on this area of black. I have, I'm going to pull that back, and I have a little sheet that I've saved. Actually, I've got a couple. That should help me keep out of the sticky for the most part while I'm working on this. So I'm going to set that big one there 
and I'm going to move this one in a bit because I always stick my hands in it. Here, okay, the chat's working. All right, we're good. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me move the camera. I need to back it up a little. Let me scoot the canvas over and back this up. Oops, not a little too much. Okay, right there. Let's see if that's going to work and see if I can maneuver. I may have to move it, but we'll see. All right, here's my drills right here. Okay, y'all probably won't be able to see those. Now, I'm going to have to change the wax in my tool because it's been sitting there. i got to change my glasses too. <clears throat> yeah, i got to put on the extra magnifiers here. <laughs> Okie dokie. There we go. All right. Hey, Judy. Hey, Mitzi. <clears throat> okay, my voice is going, people. All right, I've got to change my wax. I know y'all can't see me do this, but I'm taking the wax out with a toothpick, wadding it up and throwing it into the trash can if it will get off of me. Okay, now I'm going to take a little pan I have my wax in. Let me see if I can do this on the camera. Okay, and dipping my tool into the wax. Making sure it's full. Take off the excess. Put it back in the little pan. And now we should be good to go for that end. Now let me do the... I've got a, a three multi tip. So I'm just going to scoop the wax out like so. Put it in a ball, put it in the trash. So it's dry, kind of dried up. I didn't get to diamond paint yesterday. So I didn't take the tool out or anything. Okay, so let me see if I can bring this over here and do this for you guys. So here's the how I do it. I go one side. And I scoop the other side, then I go back to the first side and make sure I fill it well. And then I pat it in, take off the excess if there is any, and we're ready to go. Yeah, I still haven't done a tool video for you guys. I need to do that. Everything is changing. <clears throat> okay, uh, let me see. Okay, now what I'm seeing on the screen is weird. Okay, gotta blow my nose. Hold on. Annoying. That that's how it goes. Hey, this is August 30th, which means Saturday is September. <laughs> we were looking at the weather and uh Okay, I'm going to have to move the camera because I can't maneuver around it. Okay, so I'm going to have to move it up here. And, oops. Okay, how's that? It might focus, it might not. I don't know what it's going to do. Autofocus is on because turning it off is worse. <laughs> okay, so I've got all my diamonds shaken out in the tray. I've got a big tray here. So I'm going in here and I'm going to double check and make sure, oh, see, there's, there's a ampersand right there. I need to get that one so I don't put the wrong thing there. Got my tray of trays over on the side there. All right, so I'm going to put that there. Okay, now I want to outline the area that I'm going to, yeah, this is, it's, I don't know, it's, it's hard to see right now because... Okay, can you see, let me see if I can, okay, I'm trying to stay out of the way, but I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to outline my area. I'm just going to put, I'm going to move this, okay, keep sticking my finger in it. Not good. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to, two stuck together. All right, now I'm going to start my checkerboard, which means every other 
space because filling it in, I stuck my finger in it again, filling it in is easier if you're not doing, um, using a multi-tool, which I'm not doing right now. And I kind of like to go diagonal, but sometimes I have a hard time figuring out how to get to the diagonal, <laughs> get it started. There's something about the consistency of placement. I, I don't know. It's the same way for needlepoint, for me anyway. Okay, can you guys see what I'm doing? I hope even though it's a little fuzzy. I have to, I don't know, I have to figure out the fuzzy part. I did not set up the second camera in the Logitech software. So that's an issue I've got to figure out how to do both of them because they use the same software. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Maybe set up the close-up camera in the software, and then, I don't know, maybe. I'll figure it out eventually. There. Don't do that one. That's an ampersand. So I'm still, you know, logistically, we're still working things out. <laughs> And it's very sticky, so it's making a lot of noise. Um, one of the other canvases I was working on, you could barely hear it because it wasn't very sticky. But this one is very noisy because it's very sticky. the sticky if at all possible and pay attention to the symbols this one looks like a little ladder hopefully I'm still on the camera okay good How do I get them out if you mess up? Is there a tool for that? Yes, there is. They're called tweezers. <laughs> tweezers. Yes. Tweezers. Yeah, if you make a mistake, you pick it up with the tweezers. Sometimes you have to kind of get it up on one side, but see, you pick it up with the tweezers. And then you can also place them with tweezers, but I don't like doing that. I'd rather save the tweezers for the boo-boos. It doesn't go in quite in the right place and you can't scoot it over. Yeah. Go for the tweezers. So this is an area of the sewing machine. It looks like the part of the base of it. I'm not sure. But not terribly worried about what it is. I'm just... Trying to get it filled in and not make a mistake. <laughs> it's very zen, you know. Move this over. It's very zen. I really enjoy doing this. I am hooked. <laughs> now I've gotten my last two canvases that I ordered from China, so I'm done with China. For the moment now I have to keep in mind I'm going to allow six weeks so when I get some of these done I have um, 
two more to do for mom. I have one to do for someone else. It's a gift and one to do for someone else. It's a gift. So I can't really show you guys those just in case. Um, I don't know who's watching. So yeah, <laughs> I can't really show those to you right now. Now, occasionally you'll find little bits that aren't, they don't exactly fit. They're not up to par. So I've been putting those in a little cup off to the side. Just a little, um, one of those little, you know, you get the peaches, the peach cups and the things like that. Yeah, just one of those. So I save those. I use them for paint separating rainbow loops <laughs> separating little doodads for collage putting glue in I mean there's all kinds of uses for those little plastic cups before you recycle them you upcycle and then you recycle So this takes a while and I'll have an audiobook on or turn on the music or turn on dark shadows. <laughs> I've been watching dark shadows. I'm on episode 500 and something. It's on Amazon. It's what they call season eight, whatever. I think I'm coming to the end of that though. Okay, now I'm going to start filling in. Going back over here, and I'm going to keep this paper under my hand and let it slide around. I like this big tray. This is a new one for me. It shakes out really well and by that I mean it shakes them out and flips them over the right way pretty nicely hey Joycey what's up <laughs> good to see ya But this is like peyote stitch beading or needlepoint or, you know, anything like that. That's what this reminds me of. And I love all of that stuff. And I can't possibly do it all. But I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. My replacement computer, I'm going to say, is doing well. So far, so good. Oops, I see that one got out of place, but it didn't stick. So I can scooch it over and push it down. Ha, I win. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to do um, a not live video and do use the camera software and do a close-up of me doing this. I mean, I know it's not a big deal, but somebody might like to see closer and not fuzzy. And these cameras are perfectly capable of doing that. It's just that the minicam software I'm using does not do the macros and I can't figure out how to get minicam to work with the Logitech it's I don't know 
haven't quite figured that out. But I have to turn on Minicam first before I do anything and make sure the cameras are plugged in, both of them. Or else I don't get sound. <laughs> and I have to be conscious of not pushing too hard. Um, I have a habit of doing that so with everything. So I have to pay attention. Don't push too hard. My wax will last longer if I don't punch it. <laughs> so I have to consciously remind myself. Don't push it, just touch it. I tried using the, let me get these up here while I'm thinking about it. Um, what is that thing called for the Cricut? Uh, pick me up tool for the silhouette. Okay. So I tried using this pick me up tool. I don't like it. Um, it doesn't let me maneuver the, the drills at all. I still don't know why they call them drills. Don't get that. <laughs> okay, I need to shake. See? And you can hear it. <laughs> Oops, one just flew somewhere. Oh, there he is. Get back in there. <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll fly off. Which is kind of weird. Oh, okay. Well, I need to move the camera over this way so I can get to this other end over here. Okay, now. All right. Finish this area. Yeah, I'm hoping uh, today to get to the halfway point. That would be nice. Yeah, that's right. No, nope, I thought I put it in the wrong place. Nope, got it. We're good. <laughs> oh, got a glare. Got a lean. Move that one. My throat's a little, a little froggy. Looking for the little ladders. <laughs> and I find that if I place one on, if there's three, and I place one on the far side and one in the, the far side and then the middle one, I'm more accurate in placement. Don't ask me why, it just works for me that way. <laughs> so I'm kind of like doing the checkerboard sort of, but not really in the smaller area. Nope, something's wrong with that one. Yeah, got a bubble on the bottom. Okay, not good, it won't stick. There's another piece that's not good. Put that one in the little tub. I haven't come up with very many bad ones, I must say. I'm impressed with who I can so far. And I got lots more black to go over here. And I'm getting some blue in there. Okay, so I'm going to move this over keep going with the black and I've got to move the camera again. Let's see if I put it up here like that. Maybe. 
maybe? Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Uh-oh. What's it? It's go oh boy, that was bad. It doesn't want to focus. Maybe it's the white paper. Hmm. Don't know. Okay, let me scoot it a little bit closer. Nope, too much white paper and then it, it doesn't like that. Okay, how's that? Don't know. <laughs> All right, we'll give that a try. Let's see. Okay. Now I could use the multi-tool and that's on the back end and all you do is you find a nice line and you pick up, see I picked up, let's see where can I show you, right there. I picked up three. It's fuzzy, I'm sorry, but I can't do any better with it right now. And you can use the multi-tool, but I don't enjoy using the multi-tool. As much as I do sticking them down like this. So, personal preference. Of course, if you're on a time crunch, you might want to use the multi tool. <laughs> uh, um, the ones I'm doing for gifts don't necessarily have to be for Christmas. So I'm not going to rush. This one is for me. This one goes in my living room over my, on the wall behind my um, antique sewing machine. So I was excited to do it though because I really love it. It's so pretty. Not that I've done any sewing recently. I think the last thing I did was quilting. But now I'm hand stitching quilting, so doing working on my hexagon. Oops. I already had a spill this morning. It wasn't too bad, but the camera, the little camera here fell over. I borrowed my husband's little tripod and I'm not used to it. I had it turned around the wrong way and it was front heavy and right into two trays of beads. <laughs> so I've got three trays of beads that are kind of mixed up, but that's okay. They're different enough that I can <laughs> see them as I work. So I'm not going to try to straighten them. Okay, and I've got a little more black right. I'm going to do these two right here. There, and it's time to switch colors. Okay, so I did all that black area, and it's time to switch colors. <clears throat> okay, let me see what I need. Um, blue. W's. Okay, let me get this little tray has like a rose color and these are scattered around. They're like in the fabric. Oh, I can't see. Oh, there's a black one I missed. Just grab a bead and fix it. There we go. And let's see more W's. Oh, there's one down here. I try to do them while I have them out, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. One or two, and then go to something else. Oh, blow the nose again. here. I'm 
might have a package. He stayed there for a minute, so. We shall see a bit later. Okay, this is blue. Let me see where those are now. I've got all my little trays and in different box tops and cookie sheets and <laughs> got them all spread out. Since I was actually working and not traveling anywhere, I didn't have to put them in the case. So I have all my little trays lined up in this little box top. So works out well. Didn't get one that time. Missed. I got my mind out in the mailbox. Oh, missed again. <laughs> Pay attention. I've got one diamond painting kit still missing. Um, and it's actually missing. They can't find it because the, <laughs> the tracking number was wrong. And it's coming from China. So they said give it to the 31st and then email them again and then see if they can send me another one because they couldn't find it. So I have no idea where that little guy went to, but he's one of my tigers. Okay, ampersands, that's what I'm looking for next. Bring that over here. Hey, Eileen, there you are. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to move over. Let's see, I need to move right there. Which way do I go? I need to go this way. Okay, so I'm kind of upside down because it's like in the way. Uh-oh, it's not focusing. Cut that out. Hold still. Okay, well, anyway, this isn't real thrilling for you guys, but it's what I wanted to do, and I'm the streamer, so I get to say, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> but I did have a good time yesterday. I, um, I went to Michael's first thing. I got there right after it opened, and I got to park in the shade. Oh, missed. Got to park in the shade so the truck didn't get too hot. That was good because it was 100 degrees yesterday. The good news is next week there are no hundreds in the forecast. <laughs> Just 90s. And for here, that's a good thing. It means fall is coming. Even though we still sometimes use the air conditioner all year round. Because it gets hot on the inside. Like sometimes, it, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, we got the air conditioner on because we got the ovens going and whatnot. And there's people and, you know, a lot of people in the house. So sometimes we use it just whenever. I usually leave it on automatic so it kicks on by itself. Ampersand. There you go. There's another one. These symbols are so clear. This is the best canvas I've had so far. I have to agree with other people that the Hua Can canvases are wonderful. Um, the drills are also uh, more consistent with this kit. I'm thankful for that. Um, that deer one, oh my god, that was driving me crazy. Ampersand down here. See how many of these I can find. Thought I saw one. Yep, there it is. There's one. I think I'm running out. <laughs> okay, I only want to go so far. 
before I stop because I need to go back up to the top and work back this way. Because I don't like resting my working hand on the beads. It's not going to hurt them or anything, it just bothers my hand. <laughs> Okay, time to switch. Got some percent marks. Let's see if I can find those. The lighter brown. Oh man, my legs are giving out on me already. And if I bring the stool over, I don't know if I can reach. I'll try. More percent marks. No, don't see any. Oh, there's one. <laughs> right up there. Okay, good for now. Next. Let me try bringing the stool over here and see if that's going to work. Oh, of course, I have to remove something off of it first. Of course. <laughs> I last a little bit longer if I can sit down. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What do I need now? Um, I need... I don't know what you call it, a half moon. <laughs> See if I can find the half moons. <clears throat> um, oops. I think this piece of scotch tape is catching on everything. Okay, I'm going to have to bring the big tray up here because I think that's where my half moons are. Yep, there they are. All right, big cookie sheet. There's a lot of color switches up here, so. Okay, let's see if I can, I if I don't think I'll move the camera. Oh, good. I can slide my piece toward me. There we go. But the camera didn't move. Ha! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to peel that back. And I'm going to put some smaller pieces if I can find a little bit of those. Oh, yeah. Much behind me. Okay. Hold on. Sitting down now, and it's harder to maneuver. Okay, so I'm going to pick that up, get it out of the way. But I don't want it to be sticking to it too much, so I'm going to put these little pieces here. I need that paper out of the way. Oh, I forget you guys can't see that. <laughs> I'm so zoomed in. Yeah, I can't see it. Now, let me move this again. Okay. Right there, I think. All right, now I'm going to do some half moons. Move it closer. Put my tray over here. As long as I don't put my elbow in it, we'll be good. I don't have to worry about getting my head in the camera because we're using the side camera. <laughs> so I'm gonna there's semi-solid area, so I'm gonna do every other one. I like to kind of play. Doing it that way. It's just fun. Oh, there's an ant percentage I missed. Let's come back and get that one. There he is. And I'm pushing too hard again. Gotta watch that. Must be careful. Okay. 
And nothing says you have to do it this way. This is just my personal preference because it's fun. Go back and fill in, and the filling in goes faster because it's easier to see your center. This is one of the trays I spilled into. <laughs> we had an oops already. At least I wasn't on camera when I did it. it felt so silly. Just gotta pay attention. To the, I kind of give myself a line to stop. That one is a little small. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I didn't notice it till I put it down. That one is the wrong size. Get that out of there. That in my little cup. Shake them out. Oh, I bet that made the camera crazy. Whoops. Gotta watch that. <laughs> and there are some days where I'm I'm shaky and I have to go slower. And some days I'm steadier than I am right now and I can go pretty fast. And a lot of it depends on how my diamonds are laying in the tray. I mean, if they're pretty much all flat right way up, it's easier. Oh, okay. Let's that one back. Okay. That's that one. Now I need those little diamond shapes. Got three or four of those. Kind of a brown gray color. And these are all DMC colors, so if you guys know embroidery colors, then that would make sense to you. <laughs> Let's see if I have some. Oh, there's some down here. Okay. that earlier. Sideways little house. Russet brown. I don't have my DMC colors on my trays this time. They just seemed excessive. <laughs> Sometimes I'll put them on the tray as well as the symbol, but I didn't this time. get in this area a little wax there that'll dry up and I can brush it off with a toothbrush now those little triangles where are those okay I don't know where the tray is for those little triangles I get up <laughs> Okay, I can't find it. I must not have them in a tray. Because I can see all my trays. And I don't have that out. Okay, I'll get that later. Uh, okay, this little... I don't know what that is. It's a little 
It looks like a sound symbol, sort of. There's only a couple of them right there. It's really dark gray. Oh, there's one more. Sometimes I'll put my finger there so when I look to get the get the pick up the bead, I don't lose where I'm I've seen it. <laughs> it's two more. Missed. Uh oh, he's upside down. I picked it up the wrong way around because it's dark down there where I have the tray. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now I have clover leaves. Now where are the clover? Okay, I'm picking the tray up. I gotta, I gotta pick it up. Because I can't see. And I think I have to move this again. You guys can't see where I'm working. There, I'm working over here. Okay, these are dark blue. Little clovers. Nicely done, people. Printing the canvas is none of it is fuzzy. It's just been wonderful. I am so happy with this company right now. Okay, I don't think I want to go any further than that to the right just now. I'll catch up the rest of the canvas and then I'll be halfway. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so I need some of the blue dot. I just moved it. Oh, head back over here. This is a darker blue. stopping going too far all right um okay that looks good put that back okay are the little beads concave um no they are well yeah it's like a half circle if that makes any sense um I don't know how I can, I guess I can draw it. Let me see if I can draw one. <laughs> you pull a piece of paper out of the recycle bin. Hold on. Yeah, here's the back of something. Okay, so let me draw it for you. Oh, that's too thin. You won't be able to see that. Okay, let me back up the camera because I can't do it this way. I can't do it this way. I have to back up. All right. Okay, so here's basically what they look like. It's a flat bead and it's dome shaped. Okay. Of course, this camera is facing the, yeah, the other direction. Here, let me move it toward me. Now it's in front of me. Okay. So basically the beads are like this. And then they're faceted in different ways. There's three types of bead. And they're faceted all over. Something like that. And then you pick them up from here. And then this part is what sticks to the canvas. So they're kind of rounded on top. Even the square ones are, are this way because uh, you need to be able to pick them up. And then it gives you all that lovely, shiny, shiny, shiny stuff. See how it sparkles? Sparkly. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so they sound like they're snapping into place because some of them are. Um, you know, it's it's not a thing. You know, I mean, it's I'm not a machine, right? So I'm working in the areas, and sometimes the two of them are a little closer together, and when you put the one in the middle down, it'll click. But they're made from resin, and they are um, very cool. <laughs> very, very cool. If I back this up, you can see the, see the drawer. There's two drawers here. And then the, the piece of fabric is laying over across and you can see it has like bows on it. And then up here you can see flowers on this fabric, piece of fabric. And then as you go up, it's like folded fabric is here and there's some thread spools on top. And then there's a piece of fabric draped behind it. I can't tell what's it, what's on the fabric. Right now it just looks like a design to me. I can't tell if it's anything specific. But, oh, I reached the end of my tether. Got to watch that. And then, of course, here you can see the sewing machine, and here's where the needle goes. So whatever this is, is being sewed upon <laughs> or being sewn at the moment. But isn't this cool? It's just so pretty. I just love this one. Can't wait to finish it. But like I said, it'll be another week at least. Family's kind of keeping me busy too right now. And I can only do so much before I give up, you know, give up for the day. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put that down so I'll quit making y'all dizzy. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here, guys. Um, my legs are uh, even sitting down. I've, I've had it. Um, I did a lot yesterday. And uh, I might have overdone it just a little bit. But I had so much fun in Michael's. That was a blast. I had so much fun. I found some more Christmas presents for the grand girls and yeah, saw a lot and they had, I got, I think seven frames. Yeah, I think I got seven frames or something like that. But anyway, um, that's my stream for today and I will see if, I, I don't know if I'm going to make any other videos. I have to, I got the new canvases, but I can't show them to you because they're gifts. So yeah. I can't, I can't show those. So anyway, um, yeah, maybe I'll do better next week and, and uh, have some other things going on as well. But this is me for now. So I thank y'all for watching and y'all have a good day and have a fun weekend and a good holiday on Monday if you get a holiday. And I will see y'all later. Wag your fingers. Bye.